Am I the only one that really likes looking at maps? Hello guys, welcome back to Unique Arts, this is Shannon. Today we're just going to talk about a little known artist, she's actually still alive, she's elderly, but she's still around, and her name is Joan Quick to see Smith, and she's often known for painting maps, you know, painting, so I mean it mixes, I really like geography for some reason, I've always enjoyed it. It also mixes art, so two things I love. And she doesn't only just paint maps, I mean, there's a quite a famous painting by her, and it's obviously a map of the United States and Southern Canada, but she removes the names of the states that don't have Native American influence in their name and keeps the ones that do. Smith is actually from Montana. She's from Montana. She lives and is based out of New Mexico and has been for a good chunk of her career, but I mean, New Mexico obviously isn't a Native uh, name, but I mean, Idaho, where I live, is a named from a Native tribe, but I think she's part Salish and Shoshone. There might be some other things in there. Sorry, Shoshone, if I totally messed that up. Shoshone is actually the tribe in the, the tribe's territory that I live on. It's really interesting stuff, actually. You can look into that elsewhere. I love the indigenous histories. But Smith is an American modernist, and so there's actually one book on her by Carolyn Kastner. I've read it. Probably find it on Amazon. You can find everything on Amazon. If you don't like supporting Amazon, then maybe there's another app. Smith is a modernist. I mean, generally speaking, when I think of like these cultural identities and stuff like that being shown in their painting, I think of postmodernism. Kastner classifies her as a modernist, and I guess Smith agreed with it. So I mean, she she definitely has some similar aesthetic. Uh, principles with some of the abstract expressionists. Willem de Kooning is mentioned in this book, um, but she also has some similarities to people like Robert Rauschenberg. Um, and I think lots of her work is really interesting, besides the maps. She has some like The Great Divide and Herding, or The Courthouse Steps, and they're all really interesting to me. Something that's kind of a common theme, especially in Herding, is these petroglyph-like figures. And I remember some point in the book they're talking about how some like corporate con companies are interested and willing to get rid of these uh, petroglyphs or to remove them essentially, relocate them I guess, for the sake of development. And I think that's ridiculous and I think she thinks that's ridiculous too. I mean, why would we remove art and I mean, or destroy art, get rid of it essentially. It's just like, maybe even if it's not hung in a museum, you can't imagine someone going into a museum that would be like, we're just gonna take this away now. It's because we have the money to. And I guess in a way they kind of do let them do that if they buy it, if it's for sale, I guess. But she has a lot of work. She's got some work, uh, even uh, Georgia on my mind, and that's paying homage to uh, Georgia O'Keeffe, who was also based out of New Mexico and has her own museum. I think that's also being expanded, which is awesome. But Georgia O'Keeffe's a very famous woman artist. And part of this book, really, is talking about her identity is often overshadowed because of her Native American ancestry. And the book is keen on that, it doesn't call her a Native American artist, a uh, modernist, it just calls her an American modernist. And so she's an American. I mean, she's obviously not of European descent, but the thing is, she's still an American artist, she still calls the same place home. I mean, you, you know, there's a big long troubled history with the Native American populations and European settlers, but she identifies as an American. I think that's one thing that we might f often forget in this day and age. We overshadow their skin color or their heritage, overshadows who they are as a person. And obviously that's part of who they are as a person. And I don't think she's gonna forget it. She'll never forget that. That's part of who she is. But it seems that that's all people are keen to point out and notice about her. When there's a lot more to her, obviously, and her works might um, harken back to that heritage, but it doesn't mean they're only applicable to people of that heritage. You know, they're applicable to all of us, especially as Americans. That's what she identifies with. And so, John Quick to see Smith, really interesting. I would recommend reading this book, recommend looking more into her because she has a lot of different things that she talks about. One I also really like is uh, Barbie Plenty Horses, you know, it takes it from that typical blondes, you know, super skinny, really unrealistic uh, children's toy, and he, she makes a Barbie plenty horses. It's like the Native American Barbie, and you know, gives a whole family and stuff like that. It's really interesting. She's a really interesting character, and she's a contemporary artist, so if you want to be more up to date with artists that are still creating, pretty much, then she's a good one to know. But that was just a quick introduction. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe.